Hey everyone, Mike here with the Astro Explorers. Um, I know it's been a little while since I've done my last video. I um, have been busy in the last couple of months and one of the things I wanted to show y'all was this sun finder or solar finder that I went ahead and made. Uh, so just to be upfront, this is one that I have designed and do currently have on Amazon. I got them going right before the solar eclipse. Uh, needed to replace my old one because it had unfortunately melted uh, sitting here in my um, observatory. So went in, uh, did a new design, and with that was able to find a new material that would hold up to being outside in the sun, uh, being out here in the hot observatory here in Texas where it gets 120 plus degrees uh, when it's all closed up. So here it is, the new solar finder that I designed. Uh, one of the principles that I wanted to do was make sure that it was easy to use so it uses the sun coming through the little pinhole and then once it's aligned with the white dot, you're aligned. So just like that past video that I made where we were trying to center the sun with the center line, that was our alignment. The second thing I wanted to do was make sure it was aligned uh, once you had the sun in sight. So in order to do that, I took you know just the real easy principles of any red dot finder uh, that we all are used to using so that you could adjust the axis in one direction or the other. So when I initially built this and set it up on my telescope, of course it wasn't 100% aligned. It was fairly okay. I uh, got the sun mostly in place. Then I aligned the telescope with the sun and afterwards I then was able to use the adjustment knobs to center that pinhole light right here on the white target dot. And now when I come outside and want to view the sun, I'm able to use Nina to point in the general direction of the sun. Unfortunately, it won't do plate solving because the sun is, you know, just a giant white ball and there's no stars to see at night or during the day for it to do that plate solving. So what will happen is it gets into the general direction of where it needs to go and then I just look back at my telescope you can see the uh, beam or pier here right here and uh, I'm able to make small adjustments to get that pin light into place. Okay so as you can see the sun finder just hooks in just like any normal red dot side or finder scope and right now you can see that pin light shining directly at the white dot. So if I needed to, I could always come in and adjust it up or down to reset the alignment. But right now it's in an excellent spot so that I can get my telescope in the general direction using Nina and then use the solar finder to do those minor tweaks to get it aligned. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and just show how the alignment works using the sun finder. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell Nina to begin slewing the telescope towards the sun. So I'm going to tell it to slew. I already selected the sun and it's going to begin moving and slewing over to the sun. And we'll just kind of watch that shadow in the sun finder. And you can see we're pretty close to being there, but we're not quite there. So if we look over at our screen and Nina, I'm going to go to imaging. I've got loop on and I'm going to tell it to start taking images so that we can see what's going on. Then I'm going to go to GS server and I'm going to slowly start slewing it into position to try to, to try to get our pin light into the right position. And 
and this is kind of a weird reach for me so we'll just work on it and you can see I'm slowly moving it and then we're gonna there we go so now we've got that pin light headed in the right direction it's touching the white base and now you can see that it is on screen so all I did was slew the sun finder or the telescope so that the pin light was in the center mass of that white dot and that brought the sun on the screen and now that it's on screen what I can do is just slowly control it here to center it up oh and I went a little too far which is uh, something I do <laughs> But we'll make a couple small adjustments and then uh, we'll be centered again. And there you have it. So within all of you know a minute we were able to slew the telescope into position use the sun finder to get that pin light into position which then brought the sun onto our screen and from there we were able to center it um, i don't know if anyone here has ever tried to do that without a pin light or uh, without a sun finder but it is impossible to try to get a telescope into sight of the sun um, the sun is just too bright you can't look through the finder or anything like that to get it in position so that is how easy it is to do it and um, like i said this is one sun finder option that i've designed I create and produce and have on Amazon. Uh, this is using the Celestron solar filter on the front of the telescope. So make sure if you are wanting to view the sun, you have the appropriate uh, filter or screen on the front of your telescope so that you're not burning your optics. And if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out. All right, so like I said, uh, it is a new material. Uh, most 3D printed objects are done using PLA and unfortunately kind of the warping melting point for that is a little low so my past prints had started to warp which is no good when it's out here sitting in the sun especially if you want it to stare at the sun for hours at a time it's going to heat up. Um, this is printed with carbon fiber PETG and it has a much higher uh, melting point, warping point, it should survive the sun, no problem, uh, staying out and staying outside. So with that, um, the carbon fiber also increases that heat resistance and helps with color fade as well. So like I said, I did this right before the solar eclipse that we had here in Dallas. Um, it's been sitting here in my observatory ever since we've been hitting multiple days over 100, there's been no warp. And when I came out today to do the alignment and view the sun, it was on target. So it's working great. I really like it. Um, if you're interested in this, there'll be a link to the Amazon listing in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out. This is Mike with the Astro Explorers calling it a day. Till next time, Keep your eyes on the sky and happy stargazing.